Hey everyone, hope you're okay today. Before we begin, remember I release at least two videos per week that are all about math. So subscribe so you don't miss out on future topics when you are looking for math help. Now, today we are learning about coterminal angles, so let's get right to it. When we put angles on a coordinate plane, or the unit circle, we will start with one side on the x-axis. This side is called the initial side. The part of the angle that moves around is called the terminal side. We say this angle is in standard position, which means the vertex is on the origin and the initial side is on the x-axis. Coterminal angles are angles that share a terminal side. For example, 40 degrees, 400 degrees, and 760 degrees are all coterminal. We can also have negative coterminal angles, such as negative 320 degrees and negative 680 degrees. Understanding coterminal angles can be quite helpful when using the unit circle, especially when we need to know the values of sine, cosine, or tangent. Instead of trying to calculate the values, we can find the coterminal angle that's between 0 and 360 degrees. Then find the reference angle, and finally use our knowledge of the positive and negative values in the different quadrants. Finding the coterminal angle is pretty easy. Let's check it out. Let's find the coterminal angle of 640 degrees that is between 0 and 360 degrees. We use the formula theta plus or minus 360 times n, where n is the number of rotations, theta is our original angle, and we have plus or minus because sometimes we have negative theta and sometimes we have positive theta. If our angle theta is positive, then we just subtract 360 until we have an angle that is between 0 and 360. Here, we get a coterminal angle of 280 degrees. If theta is negative, we just add 360. Here, we have to add 2 times 360, so n equals 2. We get 22 degrees. We can use radians too. Notice how the formula changes from 360 to 2 pi. We need to find an angle that is between 0 and 2 pi radians. Since we are working with fractions, we have some extra steps. We can't just subtract 2 pi from 11 pi over 3, so we need to find common denominators. This gives us 11 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3. Now, just subtract the numerators, and we get the coterminal angle in the range we are looking for. With negative angles, again, we add 2 pi. First, we find the common denominator, then add the fractions. We get 1 pi over 18 radians, but we usually don't write the 1, so we just say pi over 18 radians. See if you can determine if these two angles are coterminal. As we can see, if we add 2 times 2 pi to our smaller angle, then we get the larger angle. We can also subtract 2 times 2 pi from the larger angle to get the smaller. So yes, these two angles are coterminal. That's it for coterminal angles. Thanks for watching and learning, guys. See you next time.